it's Hugh Cuba and this is my full cube collection of 2019. First of all, I've got 2x2. Two two. My first 2x2 two two is the Chihi, Chihi S, which is a budget cube. And it's very main capable for its budget price. This is my secondary main as it is my one of my only 2x2s. Two two. And my main 2x2 two two right now is the GAN 249 V2M. I do recommend this cube, but I would say probably get the Volk 2M or the MGC. I think the magnets are quite strong in this. So those are all my 2x2s two two, and now on to my 3x3s. Three the 3x3, three three, I have two Rubik's Grand. My first one and another one because I thought I uh, peeled the stickers off because I couldn't solve it. But it turns out I was just solving them. These both turn really well as I put a crystal in them and broke them in. And now they are actually speed cubable. They're very loud though. And this was my first. So, for the budget cubes I have, I have a few. I'll get them all out and they'll talk a bit more about all the budget cubes. So this was my first ever proper speed cube. It's not that good, it's just a carbon fiber one. But it was my main for quite a long time. And then my first ever speed cubable, fast speed cube is right here. It's the Yushin Little Magic. I put the Volk 3 power sticker on, but this is great for a budget choice. After that, I got the MF3RS. And after that, I got the MF3RS2, which in my opinion is the best budget cube. My current 3x308 is a Mufang Jiaoshi 45mm, but it's a bit too small, so I might start using the GANX instead. For my other 3x3s, here they are. This is a Mini Waylong GTS2M with a Mini Waylong GTS2M, a Mini Woot 2M sticker, X Man Windy sticker, and the Volt 3 Power sticker. On. This is my secondary main. I've got the Ghana Master Edition, which I bought for a competition, but didn't use as I got the uh, GTS twin. And I have the Volt 3 Power, my first flagship puzzle. I really like this cube. And my current main, the Ganex. This cube's really good. So now I actually I've got this cube, so let me just get it. Yeah. It's a cube that came in a set with another 3x3 three three that I also forgot. Uh, so these were far away from me. So it came with a set of this and this tiny, tiny cube. I think it was like 35mm. It doesn't do the greatest, but it's cool for the size. So now, I'm going to 4x4. For 4x4 four four, I have two cubes. This is the, I actually forgot what it's called but I'll put it up on screen. It's a budget cube and it's worth it. It's about £6.99 from Cube UK. And if I don't remember it then I'm sorry. Um, I definitely recommend this. And my other 4x4 four four is one that I recently did a review on the Mini Loot Train. It's my main. If you're gonna get 4x4, it's probably between this or the uh, Mary Ralphs with GTS 2M. And I got this. I really like it. And they draw my 4x4s. So now, under 5x5. Before I start 5x5, I just wanna say that I actually forgot this 2x2. It's broken. But apart from that it's broken, uh, I definitely recommend this. It's main worthy if it doesn't break. It's the carbon fiber one. It's really smooth and I 
uh, do you recommend this cube? I don't think it does break. I think I kept on pulling the piece out because I just need to popping and stuff. So I kept on trying to pull the piece out and it eventually came out. So yeah, that's the carbon fiber two by two. If you were to get it, it probably won't break unless you try and cut and twist it a lot and pop it. So now we can go into five by five. Five by five, I just got this in my big, no I didn't. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this was my old main before I got my other main right there. This is the Mui Weichuan GTS. It's quite, it's alright for a budget cube. If this had magnets it would be a lot better but it has locks up where you have to kind of do that. And it does have some really bad ones while you um, are solving. So now onto my main. The main speed cube 5x5 is a you should look for my check. I want to see my unboxing video and I really like it and I definitely recommend it. It's magnetic and it's really smooth and fast. And once again this is one of my 5x5s and I don't actually have a 6x6 or a 7x7 currently. Um, but if you do want a 6x6 I recommend getting the Miyuashi GTS. Um, and 7x7 seven seven, I recommend the Hayes, Yushin Hayes 7M. So now on to my other puzzles on M by N's but the RWC and after that I'll go into the non WC puzzles. For Mega Minx I have one Mega Minx, it's my main, it's the Sheng Shao. It's a budget one but it's actually really good so I definitely recommend this. So now we're going to Skew and Pyraminx. The Skew by F1 Skew, it's just a broken x man wingy. Uh, it, the reason it's broken is because this piece falls out super easy and there's no magnets in that piece because it broke. So for Pyraminx, I have two Pyraminxes. This one's my main, this one's my backup. This is the Sheng Shao. It's not that good. So if you're going to get one, I don't recommend this. Instead, you should get this. It's the X-Man Bell. This is my main by four. I absolutely love it. I can't turn that fast because I'll probably hit the recording and knock it off. But I definitely recommend this cube. This pyramid, sorry. So, onto clock. I'm not a clock solver. Um, I like it, but I don't solve it much because it's quite fun to do. This is the Lingao. The pins sometimes don't get stuck. So you can't like move it down. But overall this is a great puzzle. And I definitely re recommend this. And this is the Lingao clock. Um, this is when the pins won't go down, it's stuck. And if you do have this, where it won't go down, you just have to turn it a bit and then they will eventually go down like that. So, on to non-WC puzzles. I can't solve square one, but I have got one. It's the Guanlong. It's quite bad though. But, let's forget that and go into the non WCA. First one is the gear piece. I don't know what brand it is, but it's just quite cool and easy to solve. Um, Cause it's quite a lot easier for, um, than a normal cube. So I definitely like this. I don't know how to solve this cube. I know you just solve it like a three by three. Well, I can't solve it like a normal 3x3. Three three. It's the Axis. It's the Axis cube. So, yeah, I have no clue how to solve it. So, on to the next cube. This isn't a cube, it's a cuboid, but it's the Chihi 2x2x3. Two two if you're looking for uh, a good 
non-WCA puzzle that's cheap. Definitely get this, I really like it, because it's fun stuff. Um, all you've got to know is one algorithm, and it's the easiest algorithm ever. It's R2, U2, R2, U2, R2. But you also need to know how to solve a 2 by 2 Ortega. If you don't know how to solve a 2 by 2 using Ortega, you only have to, uh, you have to learn one more algorithm, which is just the T perm, but if you, you can't really do it because it doesn't shape shift. So you have to learn a new algorithm. This is a 2 by 2 by 3 and I've also got the 1x1x3 one by one by so it looks like a 3x3 three three. so this is the chi 1x3x3 1x1x1x3x3x3 fidget spinner and it spins really nice and it looks cool when you spin it so that's cool and it spins really good and while you spin it you can put it in cool patterns like this I know it looks really cool. And also this is a puzzle so you can scramble it. And it even shapeshifts like this. And while you're solving it, you can get parity if you do a shapeshift scramble, which looks a bit like this. Or you can get it like this, where just this one thing is not oriented, so you just misalign it and flip it around. Now to some of the last ones here. I got these in a pack. It's a three by three by three by three um, barrel cube. You just solve it like a normal three by three, and it's really cool. For the next one, I don't actually know what the name is. So, um, yeah, it's this cube where you can get the wrong colours. So if these two are swapped, even though they're the same colours, then it won't be solved. And you can swap these two and it won't be solved. Yeah, you can solve, uh, swap these two and it won't be solved. So it's like a 3 by 3 but it's a bit harder, especially during um, F2L. So the last one of the PCA puzzle I have is the Ivy Cube. Um, this cube's super easy to solve, and it's it's really easy. So I do recommend getting this because it's just so easy to solve. So that's my cube collection. Thanks for watching. Bye. Before I leave a video, if you have any video suggestions, make sure to leave it in the comments below. And if you want to know any questions, also leave it in the comments below. So, once again, thanks for watching. Bye.